We know this is an entertainment show and to get a picture of how an entertainer is feeling right now, we're going to have Waji on the line to let us know how things are going. So, um, hello Waji. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing. I'm very well, thank you. I'm doing good. Okay, so um, the pandemic has affected every sector right now and um, people are being locked in however being an entertainer in the entertainment industry you have to go out to make money basically so how are you coping in this situation well rightly said um it's affected a lot of things i i remember the weekend after the amvc uh, we were supposed to have a concert and everything had to be cancelled because of social distancing. But now with the lockdown, the total lockdown, you know, the way some of us are coping is really channeling everything that we, um, we have online, you know. So you know that content right now still sells regardless. You understand? Through YouTube channels, for some of us who have like blogs, and things like that. So the smart thing would have been before now, also making your reach um, online, you understand, in terms of like your YouTube channel, your Instagram, your Facebook as well, Facebook especially, you know. So that's what some people are doing now. If some people are doing like online content, you know, if you, for somebody like me, who has like a website, and you have like strong channels, that kind of thing, you can sort of like um, get people to um, buy your merchandise or, you know, get like tickets on a very, very low price. for So basically, like digitized concert. platforms now are the way to go. Yeah, that's really the, that's really the best that we can do at the moment. Also, um, being an influencer is something that people need at the moment. Companies are looking out for it. People that have like a strong presence online, so the business, the students cannot stop listening. You get what I mean? So yeah, these are the different ways some people are talking. Yeah. You to share your daily experience with us. A lot of people are struggling with you know keeping busy or having a structure of for the day. Um, so I, I want you to just shed some light on that. I, I'm sure the audience wants to know as well. Do you have days where you know you can't just figure out what to do with yourself, or is it pretty structured? Are you, do you have a routine? What, what's it like for you? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Um, it has like a different sound. Can um, I said uh, your day. We want. I want to find out what your day looks like. Um, do you have structure, or do you just you don't know what to do with yourself? Like, what does it look like when you wake up in the morning? Like, what oh, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I don't think I have structures, to be honest. So, so I exercise, I go for a run, or my fitness trainer does like this class is by seven online, I join in. Uh, I, I decided that this time, because I've been pushing back writing a book, so I decided that this quiet time I could start. So I'm, I've been writing my book, I'm on chapter one of writing my book. And um, yeah, so there, there are little things that, you know, but it's not like a structure. When I remember one, I'm a good one. I'm a good one. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing for. Right. Okay, let's talk about um, seeing a lot of celebrities coming out to tell the government how to do things and what we expect from them. I mean, it, a lot of your colleagues have um, spoken up. How would you rate the response of the government in this situation and what would you expect to see going forward? How, how would I rate what? How would you rate the response of the government towards this pandemic and what would you like to see going forward? Well, to be honest, um, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine yesterday and I was asking, I said, okay, so I see people really congratulating and thanking the governor. Now, I think the work that he's done is commendable, but the truth is the government is doing their job. You understand? Uh, this is why they were elected. They were elected to make, you know, govern the people and, you know, sort of create balance, whether it's working in, in, in situations like this uh, and uh, even when the economy is booming, regardless, 
you know, so I think that he's doing a great job. What I really want to, or the people I really, really would love to commend outside the government are the private sector, the people in the private sector that have been donating to make sure that, you know, people are okay, you know, and sort of, you know, financial donations and even whatever, whatever that we have, people have been doing a great job. Now, what I would really love to see is some sort of lasting plan for displaced people and people who have no um, shelter or who literally um, live in the slums. Uh, there's no there's no housing, nothing for them. Because the truth is, if the pandemic gets to that point, if this um, virus gets to that point, how do we safeguard them? Do you understand? So that's really what I want the conversation to be. Not just the, the people in the middle class and the and um, you know the high class, but people literally living in the slums. There are people who their their job is all every day. You understand? It's all per hour. You know, the carpenters, the electricians that is really based on what they have done. Now that everyone um, you know quarantines, what how do we make a living? What is the relief set in place to you know, make it? You know, make life for people a little bit more comfortable for them. So that that's the that's that's what I'd love to know more. Yeah. I would have loved to talk more with you, but the reception is not quite clear. So we hope to have you on our subsequent edition. Thank you so much, Waji, for your time. You're welcome. Have a good one. Okay. All right. Okay, so um, I mean, she's basically saying what everybody's saying right now. There needs to be some form of um, aid to help the people who cannot survive at this time. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the homeless, because she <coughs> specified on that. And I was wondering, because in other countries, there were provisions made for homeless people. And the truth is, Nigeria has a huge amount mm, of yeah. homeless people. So I was wondering, with this lockdown, it's easier for you to say there's a lockdown if there's a home for people to be locked in. Mm -hmm. But there are so many people that don't even have homes who sleep on the road. So yeah. what provision is going to be made for those people? And what con conversations? Because I've not seen any conversation about the homeless people in Nigeria. I've seen conversations about homeless people in other countries, but I've not seen particularly for those in Nigeria. So I'm hoping that, you know, that there would something be, will yeah. be done. something. And I worry because the NGOs are usually the ones that we look up to to take care yeah. of people like this. Um, remember, yes, I think it was yesterday we were talking about kids who are also um, in abusive homes. There's a, there's a lot of people that would be seriously affected, not by coronavirus, but because of the situation at hand. And I just remembered was recently that we had the explosion. Um, that yeah. already had a lot of people, so homeless. people homeless. Um, not even just by um, choice, but all inherited to but by circumstances. So it's one of those things where I'm wondering, like, is there a plan for these people? There might be something going on. Nigerians do like to um, scream out the bad news more, and there actually could be actions going on, but we, uh, we don't know. So I would like to hear about that. Like, if there's somebody who knows anything about that, you know, it should be something we're talking about on social media. Yeah. It was also very interesting for me to hear that YJ also doesn't have structure. I think a lot of people are kind of feeling bad <laughs> of not being able to, like, they just wake up, Sometimes you're. What you're, do I do for the Yeah, it's some their fridge. Your fridge is their company. Some people are going to bed at like six a.m. and sleeping during the day. Like yeah. there's no structure at all. House party is. And then watching people. movies. Exactly. Night. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of nice to see that. Okay, somebody. Well, we're all in this together. Yeah. Um, uh, and then I don't think you always need to have structure. I feel like it's it's time to just relax. You can take your time. I think the only thing that you can consider is maybe your health, like trying to keep that in check. Mm. We're gonna be eating a lot more, so maybe try and work out or something. But either way, you don't. I don't think it's that much of a big deal. But it was nice to hear mm. that she also. But at the same that. time, like we mentioned yesterday, I think this is the time to um, do some things that would be useful for you at the long run. So right. read some books and um, research, learn yeah. new skills, and yeah. um, just keep yourself Take busy. Take courses, because some yeah. courses are now free. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think a question something. I really wanted to ask her was like, what we would be seeing from her after Afterwards. coronavirus? Mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll get her back to yeah. have that yeah. conversation.